Hey GED students, it's GED question of the day time and I'm super excited about this question of the day because it actually hits on two of the most important things for your GED math and science test, okay? Interpreting word problems and interpreting diagrams, charts and graphs all over the math, all over the science and even the social studies. You've got to be able to do, use this skill. So man, we're going for a real score boost here. So let's take a look. It says the bar graph shows the religious affiliations of New Zealanders from 1991 to 2006. By how much did the percentage of New Zealanders identifying as Christians decrease from 91 through 2006? Okay, so my recommendation for all GED students is before you start going to try to answer or do the math for a word problem, please, please, please make sure you know what you're looking for. I have too many students who just pick up a calculator and just start crunching together numbers and hope and pray they did it the right way. And, you know, um, I want a little more uh, foresight than that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a look at the question. Once again, we asked, by how much did the percentage of New Zealanders identifying as Christians decrease from 1991 through 2006. I'm going to put that into my own words. What am I looking for here? Well, I'm looking for the decrease. So I'm looking for the change. Okay, how much it changed. Uh, or another way to think of this is the difference. Between what numbers? Well, the Christians in 91, Christians in 91... And I shouldn't have used a black pen. Here, I'll just cross it off. The difference between Christians in 91 and Christians in 2006. Okay, before I can find the difference, I've got to go hit my graph and get those numbers. So, oh, it wasn't 96, it was 06. Great. So let's go get those numbers. So um, I look at this graph here and take a look. We see the um, religion... The key down here, the different colors tell us uh, different religions, and it looks like green stands for Christian. So we're only going to be looking at the greens on this graph. And I'm looking at the difference between the Christians in 91. So that looks like about 70% of the population to me. Hitting right at that 70 bar right there. And the Christians in uh, 2006. Now this one's a little harder to estimate. So let's come across here. Looks like I'm perfectly in the middle between 50 and 60. Well, what would be perfectly in the middle between 50 and 60? 55%. Okay, now if I want to find the change, the decrease, I'm just looking to subtract. I want the difference. So I'll subtract 55% minus or 70% minus 55%. And what do I get? I get 15%. So by how much did the percentage decrease? It decreased by 15%. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.